Am I audible to all of you clearly? Marita Priya. Yes, sir. <clears throat> okay. So today we are going to start aldehyde and ketones. And as I discussed in the previous class, uh, have you revised this chapter? Yes or no? Okay, Priya, please do respond. Rehan, Krishna, and Ashrit, have you revised this chapter? Yes, sir. Okay, let's start. So this chapter is also known as carbonyl compound, as you already know, carbonyl compound. What is carbonyl compound? So a functional group in which C double bond O group is present, then that is carbonyl compound. So I'm just going to give some example like this is your carbonyl compound, which is aldehyde. This is your carbonyl compound, which is ketone. This is, this is your carbonyl compound, which is carboxylic acid. This is also your carbonyl, carbonyl compound, which is ester. This is also your carbonyl compound which is known as acid anhydride and we can see about this as well rc double bond o nh2 amide so these all are carbonyl compounds but we mainly need to discuss about aldehyde ketones and carboxylic acid the first thing that we do is the preparation the second thing is the chemical reaction and the third thing is the physical properties, chemical properties and physical properties. <clears throat> so I'm going to directly give you some questions and then we will move on the next. So today we will be trying to cover more and more reaction type questions. So <clears throat> the first question I'm going to give you is very easy. Um, first I'm going to write here. The question will be mainly on preparation of aldehydes and ketones. Preparation of aldehydes and ketones. Some reactions are very important that I will definitely discuss with you, like uh, <coughs> aldone, like uh, canizaro, and all this type of reaction. HVZ. Okay. So the first reaction I'm gonna give you RCH2O2, or we can remove the R is basically alkyl group. So I'm gonna give you R CH3, CH2, CH2OH. And if you are going to oxidize it in the presence of mild oxidizing agent like PCC, please do let me know the answer. answer. In this, we are going to use a strong oxidizing agent. <clears throat> a strong oxidizing agent, you can use KMnO4 and all. Very good. So, so as you know that one degree alcohol or primary alcohol directly converted into aldehyde, CH3, CH2, CH2. And secondary alcohol will be oxidized into ketone, propanone. It is. So everyone knows this, which is very, very easy. Second ketone. Very good, Adriel. Please do respond with, uh, with each and every question. Okay, the next. Organic is all about the reagent. So I will recommend you to go for the reagent. Understand the reagent's work. It's very important. So if I'm going to give you the same question. Let me know if you are able to solve it or not. Either AG or AU. 
and you are going to heat it and then <clears throat> oh wait a minute this is cho i am uh, i wrote it by mistake so this reagent ag or au and when you are going to heat it then one degree alcohol will be directly converted it will be oxidized basically into aldehyde and two two degree alcohol will be oxidized into ketone only the reagent changes the product will be simple so <clears throat> always remember that if you have aldehyde aldehyde and if you are again going to oxidize it if you are again going to oxidize it it will be converted into carboxylic acid carboxylic acid so when you are going to use a mild oxidizing agent on 1 degree alcohol it will be converted into aldehyde and when you are going to use either mild oxidizing agent and a strong oxidizing agent it will be converted into carboxylic but if you are going to use a strong oxidizing agent directly on 1 degree alcohol it will be converted into carboxylic acid is that clear Eight. Yes, sir. Oh, 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 oh. Adriel, am I audible clearly? Is it? Is that you? That? No, no. Ask. Straight. Am I audible? Sir, it's lagging a bit, sir. Like, uh, I cannot hear in between. Okay. Please do let me know. Am I audible clearly? Yes or no? So I don't know if whether it's it still lagging. Uh, Marita, is my voice lagging? Okay, that means it's, yes, it's still lagging. Yes. Okay. It will will be all right from the uh, next class. Okay, everyone, please be focused. This is a reagent which. will be acting as oxidizing agent mild oxidizing agent <clears throat> or a strong excipient is 1 degree alcohol it will convert it into aldehyde and if it is 2 degree alcohol it will convert it into secondary alcohol now the next question i'm going to give you oh uh, it's very easy so if i'm going to give you this and you are going to react this in the first step you are going to react this with o3 slash zn and in the second step in the second step you are going to react this with water so this reaction is also known as ozonolysis as you know that please do let me know <clears throat> what will be the product marita ashrit very good not acetaldehyde yeah it, it is good good ethanol and methane methanol not nol methanol it is marita yeah. kv methaol what is methaol no sir it's methanol okay not methanol it is methanol basically by the ozonolysis of an alkene you will either get aldehyde ketone or carboxylic acid depending upon the reagent methanol okay very good so see what will happen this bond will be broken oxygen will be added here oxygen will be added here so what you will be getting ch3ch4 this is your ethanol and if i'm going to show you this you can see hydrogen is making single single bond two hydrogen is there double bond o this is your methanol not methanol 
ओके वेरी गुड नो कैन एनी वन टेल मी वॉट विल बी दोजोनोलाइसिस ऑफ दिस साइक्लो एक्सिन रिएक्शन विद ओ थ्री इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ जेड एन एंड इन द सेकेंड स्टेप यू आर गोइंग टू हाइड्रोलाइज इट Who is this? Pentane one comma five I. Is it Ashwit? Okay, Ashwit is wrong. First of all, this cyclic has six carbon. That's why it cannot be pentane. Pent. See what uh, what you need to do. Just break this bond. Add oxygen here and here. I'm gonna show you. As you can see, this is your CH two. So I'm gonna show you CH two. Then this is also your CH two. CH two. and then this is also your ch2 i'm going to write ch2 here and then this is also your ch2 so i'm going to write here ch2 and after this this is there is a carbon which is doubly bonded and hydrogen will be there and there is a carbon which is doubly bonded and hydrogen is there so it is like i'm going to show you this is like this 1 2 3 4 and then fifth and then six double bond o and hydrogen will be there 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 double bond o is there and hydrogen is there so its name is basically uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 hexane 1 comma 6 diol very good k k uh, g and uh, okay okay and the very good very good kv can i change the slide yes sir <clears throat> okay moving to the next question which is a uh, quite famous reagent and i'm going to show you uh, just wait a minute okay let's see so this is your ch3 alkyne and you are either going to Uh, react this either you can write hgso4 plus h2so4 or either you can write hg plus 2 or plus dilute h2so4 dilute h2so4 so please do write the product if you don't know anything about the reagent just let me know Mm, I'm just wrong answer. Okay, focus here. By this reagent, you will be getting water. 
focus here it's very important the reagent is very important when uh, it is the reaction is also known as by hydration of alkyne the reaction is hydration of alkyne basically when you are going to react this dilute h2so4 with hg plus 2 then you will be getting h2o with the help of this reagent and you know hoh is be, uh, will be like this positive and negative and here marconi ko follows marconi ko follows marconi ko that means negative part will go to that carbon which is having lesser hydrogen or in between you can see uh, like this and this will be like ch3 ch double bond uh, uh, choh and then double bond chh is that clear everyone there will be formation of an alcohol with the help of this after this tautomerism will take place this there will be tautomerism or isomerism there will be isomerism and in isomerism tautomerism takes place and in tautomerism basically movement of, of uh, atoms takes place that means this hydrogen will move to this carbon and this double bond will move to this so as you can see ch3 this double bond moves to this oxygen and then we get ketone then we get ketone is that clear propenone the spelling is wrong propenone very good very good just let me know when you are done with this and if you don't get it just let me know are you done with this no, marita ashrit uh, adriel you are not responding rehan priya yes, hamza there is no answer from you rehan uh, rehan i think if you are not getting it just let me know is there is me adriel is there okay can i change the slide Yes. Okay. Okay. If I'm gonna give you this, and you are going to treat this with Hg plus two in the presence of dilute H two S O four, okay, Adriel. Um, but do respond. I think you are responding in chat box. Uh, I'm requesting. very good priya hamza and rehan see what will happen again with the help of this you will be getting hoh and you are going to break one of the bond and since it is a symmetrical alkyne so you will be getting this oh you can add on the left or right it won't affect and then what you are going to do very good kv this will move to this and this oh, hydrogen sure. will move to this and sure. you will yeah and this is what you will get ethanol very good pd can i change the slide now yes sir okay so now we are going to do See, these are the some methods of preparation of aldehyde and ketone so you will get either aldehyde or ketone depending upon the reactant depending upon the reactant now we are especially going to see the methods of preparation of aldehyde methods of preparation of aldehyde so the first which is a name reaction that is rosenmund reduction rosenmund reduction and we do this 
and we do this from what we say acyl halide so see if you have an acyl halide or acyl chloride you can see and you are going to react this with hydrogen in the presence of nickel bso4 or palladium this scientist uses used palladium so we are going to use palladium and see what will happen this will be broken and hydrogen will be added here and hydrogen will be added here so this will be reduced to aldehyde and the uh, by product will be hcl okay so if i'm going to give you a question like this can you name the product But the spelling that you use, pentenal, that stands for something else. Like uh, you use pentene. Uh, who is this? Asterisk. So if you used pentene, that means there will be double bond. Since there is no double bond, so you are going to use pentane. Are you getting my point, Asterisk? Very good. PD. So this will be broken and hydrogen will be added to that. So you can see one, two, three, four. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four. Only four carbon is there. So it will be butanal, not pent. We are not going to talk about pent. Since only four carbon is there. Right, Ashwin? Marita? Yes, sir. Okay. Very good. Rehan? Now the next, we are going to prepare from nitriles and esters. Nitriles and esters. So see, this reaction from nitriles, from nitriles, we say it is a name reaction, which is a Stephen reaction. This reaction is a Stephen reaction. See what will happen. It's very simple. RCN is there, that is nitriles or cyanide. If you are going to react it with stannous chloride, that means SNCl, SNCl2 in the presence of HCl. This is known as stannous chloride. This is known as stannous chloride. And when you are going to react this, you will be getting what you will be getting. First of all, you will be getting imine. I will explain all this. Uh, please be focused here. I will explain how did you get imine and after this you are going to do the hydrolysis you are going to do the hydrolysis and you will be getting rcho let me explain the reaction how did we get this it's very simple so as you know we have triple bond between nitrogen and this and see what will happen we are going to reduce it reduce that means reduction will be taking place that means hydrogen will be added one bond between carbon and nitrogen will be broken hydrogen will be added here Hydrogen will be added here with the help of this SNCl2 plus HCl. This reagent reduces it and you will be getting R C H double bond NH. And this compound is known as imine. This compound is known as imine. And if you are going to do the hydrolysis, it's very simple. This bond will be broken. Oxygen, water will be like this. This hydrogen will be gone with this NH in the form of byproduct NH3 and this oxygen will be added to this. So this is how you will be getting aldehyde. Are you getting my point? Either you can directly write this RCHO or either you can understand this and you will get this. So this is how we get aldehyde from ester with the help of a stainless chloride reacting with this uh, cyanide, that means nitriles. This reaction is known as Stephen, not ester. We didn't talk about ester. That was by mistake. Please do let me know. Uh, 
Are you done with this? Done, sir. Okay. Thank you. So now I'm going to give you a question. So CH3, CH2, CN, and you are going to react this with SNCl2 in the presence of HCl first. Then I'm going to give you CN, and you are going to treat this with Dibel H. Dibel H. And then you are going to hydrolyze it. See, this reagent and this reagent have same work. That means this will be also converted into carbon uh, aldehyde. So you can directly write ethanol, propanol. Yeah, CH3, CH2, and C is there. So this will be directly converted into propanol. And as I told you, this both have same property. That means same uh, uh, working as the same reagent. So one, two, three, four butanol. It will be CH3, CH2, CH2, and the last carbon is this. So it will be converted into. So I think it's very very easy, right? So we just did preparation of aldehyde from nitrides. Now we are going to do from ester. Ester. If you are going to do from ester, you can see if you have CH3, CH2, CH2, C double bond O, and then comes this. This is your ester. And if you are going to use these reagents, then see what will happen. This bond will be broken. And since water is there, so there is negative and there is positive. So H plus will be going with this and which, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. See, oh, negative, positive. Okay, so see, this will be converted into alcohol and the rest part, this will be basically, this is reduction. So hydrogen will be added to the left hand side. So it will be CH3, CH2, CH2, C double bond O, H. So this is your aldehyde. It's very simple. You just need to reduce it. Since we use Dibel H, which is diisobutyl aluminum hydride, which is a reducing agent. So it will reduce it and you will be getting aldehyde from this side, the bigger one. Is that clear? Can I change the slide? Before changing the slide, I'm going to give you a question. Uh, please use this, Dival H. The byproduct always go with the lower one. So we don't take about, uh, we don't take the alkyl group, which is having lesser number of carbon. Please do let me know the name of the product. <clears throat> Very good, PD. Uh, is it butanol? PD, it will be propanol. Uh, sorry, propanol. It will be not butanol. Hamza, very good. So see, this will be converted into. <clears throat> so wait a minute. I did. I just gave you a wrong. Sorry, sorry. It's it's weaker. I forgot to write this. So you are going to break this bond. And then you will be getting this, which is propanol. Marita, have you got it? Propanol and ethanol. You can see. Yes, sir. Okay. Now the next is very important, and uh, these name reactions are important. And this is basically etard reaction known as etard reaction and basically we do the preparation of aldehyde from hydrocarbon from hydrocarbon so as you can see we do oxidation basically this reaction is uh, oxidation of methyl benzene Just wait a minute, please. Sorry for the inconvenience. Etard reaction is there. Uh -huh. 
sorry for the inconvenience. So as you can see, a tart reaction. What is a tart reaction? Basically, we do oxidation of hydrocarbon, or you can say methyl benzene. This is a hydrocarbon methyl benzene. So how do we, uh, uh, what we use for the oxidation? So we use uh, chromyl chloride. We use chromyl chloride. I'm going to explain the reaction. It's very easy. Which has a formula CrO2Cl2. This is the formula. So as you can see, I'm going to use this toluene or methyl benzene. You can call it. This is your methyl benzene. And we are going to treat this with chromyl chloride. See what will happen. And the reaction will be taking place in the presence of carbon disulfide. See what will happen. There are three hydrogen. There are three hydrogen to this. And see, two hydrogen will be replaced, not replaced. Basically, it will be like this. This will come with uh, what we say. Uh, with hydrogen, Cr is there. So I'm going to write this CrO2Cl2 as OCrO. And then comes your H and Ca. Then again, the next hydrogen will be hydrogen is there. Next hydrogen will be like this. O C R O H H is also there. C H and hydrogen is there, and the rest part is like this. So what we can write directly? This is a chromium complex, so we can write as C is there, and one hydrogen is not gonna react, so it will be like this, and then we can write O C R O H C L two C L two is there. C L two is there. And since it is twice, so I'm going to write twice of this. And after this, you are going to do the hydrolysis. You are going to do the hydrolysis. Then this group will be eliminated and oxygen will be added at that place. And this is how you will get benzaldehyde. And this is this reaction is known as etar reaction. Again, I'm going to explain this. This is very easy and important. Two, two hydrogen of this methyl group will be reacting with this. So CrO2Cl2, I just wrote in a way, OCrOHCl2. Two hydrogen will be like this. So we can write this and this is your chromium complex. And this question has been asked, basically, the preparation of aldehyde. The, this reaction has been asked, what is the intermediate in between two reactant or product, in between reactant and product, which one of the following is the intermediate, correct intermediate. And this is, quite confusing so you have to be careful o r c o c r o h c l2 and it will be of twice and after hydrolysis this will be eliminated there are two questions in the last 5 years that has been asked uh, upon this that is basically removing uh, um, about the intermediate what is the intermediate of the reaction so please do write it and let me know when you are done with this. Sir, what is the name of the intermediate? Intermediate, we say chromium complex. We don't have the, uh, uh, what we say, IUPAC name. And I really don't remember the name of this compound. Okay. I'll tell you. Is that clear? We call it chromium complex. Okay, sir. Okay, can I change the slide? One minute. Just let me know. Marita, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay. I'll share the screen at 6 p.m. for the questions of the PYQs. We need to deal with the questions because you, this uh, this chapters are from class 12th and I think you are aware of this. So can we directly jump to the uh, aldol condensation? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. 
uh, if everyone is comfortable, then I, I, I will do that. If you know the basics like preparation, basic chemical reactions, chemical reactions like aldol condensation, I, I would like to discuss because that is also important. That is important. Can I move to the next uh, slide? Yes, sir. Okay. See, I'm directly going to start this aldol condensation. <clears throat> now see what it is, aldol condensation. First of all, <clears throat> for aldol condensation, there must be alpha hydrogen. There must be alpha hydrogen. If alpha hydrogen is not in either aldehyde or ketomer, so you cannot do aldol condensation or aldol reaction you cannot do. Alpha hydrogen must be not equals to zero. There must be alpha hydrogen, so I'm gonna write a point. There should be an alpha hydrogen. An alpha hydrogen. So see, if I'm gonna ask you, this is your aldehyde, or if I'm gonna ask you, this is your ketone. So how you are going to decide whether which one is alpha hydrogen or not? So you can see this is your main function group. So this carbon, which is directly connected to the main function group, is the alpha carbon. So there are two alpha carbon in this ketone, and you can see this alpha carbon has three alpha hydrogen. So there is three alpha hydrogen on the right. And two alpha hydrogen on the uh, sorry on the left. So total five alpha hydrogen. And if you are going to check it, this is your main function group. So this is your alpha carbon. And with respect to this alpha carbon, we have two alpha hydrogen. So to carry on this. this aldol reaction, there must be at least one alpha hydrogen there must be at least one alpha hydrogen. <clears throat> I'm going to show you the reaction. See. First of all, I'm going to write which reagent we use. Reagent is dilute base. Reagent is dilute base. Like either we can use KOH, which should be dilute, NaOH, which should be dilute, and also we can use calcium hydroxide, which should be uh, dilute. Or we can also use BAOH whole twice. In some reaction, you can see it will be Na2CO3, which is which should be dilute, and K2CO3. This all sorry, condition for aldol. What should be the condition? So there must be alpha hydrogen. Alpha hydrogen should be present. Is that clear? So for aldol, there should be an alpha hydrogen. And the reagent that we use, dilute base. Generally, you will see either dilute NaOH or dilute KOH. Now, I'm going on the reaction. Can I change the slide? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, if I'm going to show you the reaction, first, there are two types of aldol. The one is self aldol and the second one is cross aldol so we are going to discuss about simple aldol which will be which will be self aldol so if we are going to react this with as you can see it is methan uh, ethanol and you are going to react this with dilute naoh or koh you will be getting a product and then if you are going to do the heat on O, no, sorry, A product, then you will be getting B. So, so basically, this A is known as aldol product. The B is known as aldol condensation. Condensation, that means uh, when you are going to heat it, there will be elimination of water, H2O. That's why it is known as aldol condensation. So first of all, I'm going to give you a very easy trick to remember this. Since it is self aldol this is your self aldol that means you are going to take two moles of ethanol you are going to take two moles of ethanol and first uh, one more point you should be clear with 
is that this is your main functional group that means this is your alpha carbon and this alpha carbon has three alpha hydrogen <coughs> now see you are going to take two moles of this and you are going to write it in the way like this ch3 ch double bond four and you are going to take another mole of this and you are going to write it in the way like this i would like to uh, tell you to write in this way while just what you need to do place the alpha hydrogen towards oxygen and then you are going to remove this h2 h3 ch double bond ch and then cho is that clear directly what you need to do just face this oxygen of one of the mole of this reactant and then face this together opposite side so that it is easy to remove water what you need to do it's very simple take one mole of ethanol and remove oxygen take another mole of ethanol remove two alpha hydrogen and connect them that carbon from where you are removing oxygen and carbon with a doubly bonded and this since you are removing water that means this product is your b which is aldol condensation this product is b as i told you by heating it you will be removing water so this product is b so where is a you can get the you can get a so easily what you need to do since you get this product by removing water so you need to add water you need to add water and how you are going to do that it's very simple this is your main functional group so this will be your alpha carbon and this will be your beta carbon h2o has two components as you can see h plus and oh minus you can see like this h plus and oh minus so always add this oh minus to the beta carbon that means if you are going to add something you have to break the multiple bond or the double bond so it will be oh here and then add this to the alpha carbon simple you got this will be your a product which is aldol aldol that means ald we use for aldehyde and ol we use for alcohol and this product is also known as beta hydroxy alcohol uh, aldehyde beta hydroxy aldehyde we also say that why beta hydroxy as you can say this is your alpha this is your beta and on beta carbon this hydroxide is there that's why we call it beta hydroxy aldehyde and this is this is the main because we remove h2 so if you are going to get remove h2 or if you are going to heat it then again you can see oh and h will be removed and double bond this product you will get is that clear again i am going to say that c double bond o oxygen you are going to remove and from another mole you are going to remove Two alpha hydrogen and connect to that with the doubly bonded. Then you will be getting the last product aldol condensation. And if you want to get aldol product, add uh, you are going to do the hydrolysis. That means the OH will always be going at beta and H will be at alpha. Is that clear? Ashwin. Yes. Sir. Okay. And always remember if there is no alpha hydrogen that means uh, that means aldol will not take place so if i'm going to give you this product please do it
उसके भी दिस इज योर आल्डोल कंडेंसेशन गो फॉर आल्डोल प्रोडक्ट एज वेल एमजे सी एस थ्री सी एस टू एमजे हाउ मेनी कार्बन इन द प्रोडक्ट दैट यू हैव गॉट फोर कार्बन ओनली फाइव कार्बन how it is ch3 ch2 that is understood sorry ch3 ch2 cho uh, mj the number of the carbon will be doubled in the product because we take another mole of this three carbon three carbon adds up to six very good it is aldol condensation go for aldol product instead of writing ch3 ch2 ch2 you should write the iupac it will be convenient for me to get that and also for you to revise your iupac so i'm going to show you you are going to write this in this way so it will be very helpful to understand and then you can see this is your alpha alpha carbon and alpha hydrogen is here so i am going to show it like this and then i am going to remove this h2o in this way so if you are going to remove this h2o you can see what you will get ch3 and then ch2 and then ch this ch and then there will be double bond with this carbon which is ch3 here and then cho is here so the name that you have written kv 1 2 3 4 5 is here and the name of the aldol condensation product is 2 methyl and then pent 2 ene and 1 al that means you can write 2 methyl pent 2 phenyl 2 phenyl is that clear uh, kv reaction yes, okay so you don't need to do directly 3 to 6 hexen it cannot be it may or may not be depending upon the reactant how it treat now if you want to do the aldol product if you want to do the aldol product now what you need to do see this is your what this is your uh main functional group so this is your alpha this is your beta so we are going to add h2 is there so we are going to add oh to this and wait a minute please we are going to add oh to the beta carbon and h to the alpha carbon so as you can see this will be your ch3 ch2 it is and then ch and then oh is here and then comes your ch because hydrogen connected with this and then ch3 and then ch and its name will be 1 2 3 4 5 and as you can see its name will be 2 methyl and before 2 methyl we are going to write 3 hydroxy 2 methyl and then pentanal mj where you have mistaken and ashrit <coughs> uh, pd very good mj you have written in the last 
either writing like this i would like you to write the name of the compound i u p s is that clear yes or no yes sir can i change the slide everyone please do let me know yes sir now okay. now moving to the next question see since we used aldehyde we got aldol and then aldol condenses if you are going to use ketone the product will be ketol and ketol condenses so please do this as well then we will move to the cross ionization apply the same concept and get the answer okay i'm just i'll just check it see what you need to do take this in the same way double bond o facing like this yes. and take another mole you can see this is also alpha carbon this is also alpha carbon you can take any one of them because this is your main function so i am going to write it like this way and ch3 like this and then ch2 and h i'm going to write it like here yes. and then i am going to remove this h2 and you will be getting ch3 and ch3 is there doubly bonded ch and then c double bond o and ch3 is here so i am going to name it writing the numbering 1 2 3 4 5 5 so the name will be this is the ketol condensation because ketone is there so its name will be 4 methyl pent Three in, two on, two on, and three in, two on. Four methyl and three in, two on. Very good. And after this, if you want to do the uh, ketol product H two O, that means H and O H, 
you know that this is your main functional group and this is your alpha and beta and this is also your alpha but don't go here don't add hydrogen here because double bond is here so we are going to add this to the this and this hydrogen to the alpha then you will be getting ch3 coh will be here and ch3 will be here and then ch and h will be here and then comes c double bond o and this is your so this is your ketol or beta hydroxy ketone we can call it beta hydroxy ketone or either and this is your ketol condenses is that clear how many of you did it correctly uh, its name will be 1 2 3 hydroxy 4 methyl very good sent to pentane we are going to write for this its name will be pentane to one because pent that is number of carbon the nature of bond you didn't tell me uh, Adriel, have you got it? Pentane. We are going to write not only pent. Please do let me know so that I can. Uh, I will change the slide. Ashrit, have you got it? Kedi, Priya, and uh, Rehan. Got it. Okay. I'm gonna change the slide. Now this is self aldol. Now we are going for cross aldol. Cross aldol that means two different molecule. So I'm gonna explain it here. You can do it by you on your own. You can see there is CH3, CHO, ethanol, and you are going to react this with propanol. You are going to do it. With dilute NaOH, what will be the product? So listen to me carefully. First, there will be self aldol of this ethanol, like we just did, and there will be self aldol condensation of this propanol. That means two product in this cross aldol because of self aldol. Are you getting my point, Master Marita, Priya, Rehan? Yes, sir. Okay. After that, you are going to take. Have you got everyone? Everyone got it, Adriel? Yes, sir. Okay. Please do respond. Okay. Now you are going to take this CH three and C double bond O H, and you can see this is your alpha. So I am going to show it like this. So CH three. And then CH. Now, what you need to do, just remove this water. Remove this water, and you will be getting CH3, CH double bond, and then C. CH3 is there, and then CH. This is your aldol condensation. The third product. And if you want to go for aldol only, this is your alpha. This is your beta. So you are going to add OH to the beta carbon. And hydrogen to the alpha carbon, and the rest part will be same. So this will be the for third product. Basically, we only go for the aldol condensation. So how you get the third product? You took out oxygen from ethanol and beta hydrogen. Sorry, alpha hydrogen from propanol. Now you are going to reverse it. That means you are going to remove oxygen from propanol and beta um, alpha hydrogen from ethanol the way i'm going to write it see this will be the scenario double bond o and you are going to see this is your beta i'm sorry alpha carbon alpha hydrogen is there so i'm going to write it like this the ethanol part and after this you are going to remove this water you are going to remove this water so if you are going to remove this water you can see you will be getting ch3 ch2 And then CH double bond CH and then CHO. And after this, you are going to add OH to the beta carbon. There is H two. You are going to add OH 
that means this is your main functional group alpha is there beta is there so you are going to add oh to this and h to this alpha and you will be getting this product ch3 ch2 ch oh is there h and h will be added h2 it will be this is the fourth product so generally generally we have the scenario when you are going to do the cross aldol we will have this much product okay is that clear everyone yes sir can i change the slide yes sir okay after this reaction aldol condensation we have canizaro reaction and canizaro reaction is the one which basically there will be uh, there should not be any alpha hydrogen there should not be any alpha hydrogen so canizaro reaction first of all the reagent i'm going to write it in the previous one it was dilute but here it is concentrated this concentrated this what is the condition condition is alpha hydrogen should be absent alpha hydrogen should be absent is that clear yes sir yes sir now i'm going to show you the reaction is very easy what you need to do whatever is given if you recognized whether it is uh, a canizaro or not so you just need to oxidize it once and you need to reduce it once so if you are going to see this um, methanol is there and you are going to react this with concentrated koh or naoh now focus here that this is your main functional group so if alpha carbon is equal to 0 that means alpha hydrogen is also equals to 0 this is not your alpha hydrogen because it is is connected directly to the main functional group if any alpha carbon is there and there is hydrogen connected to that alpha carbon that is only alpha hydrogen okay now see what will happen here this is your methanol so first you are going to oxidize it oxidize it that means aldehyde oxidizes into carboxylic acid aldehyde oxidizes into carboxylic acid but as you can see there is a base so you are going to remove h from oh and you are going to put the base uh, the metal that is present in base so it is oxidizes to carboxylic acid salt and you are going to reduce it aldehyde reduce into reduces into uh, what we say alcohol so you are going to bond break bond break at like this and you will be getting hp oh and then h and then h that means basically ch3oh so it's very simple whenever you have given this uh, aldehyde which has no alpha hydrogen you are going to oxidize it that means you are going to write the carboxylic acid salt and reduce it make it a al uh, uh, alcohol is that clear is that clear everyone yes sir yes sir so if i am going to ask you a question about this first you need to check whether whether alpha hydrogen is there or not and you are going to react this with concentrated naoh
everyone done with this very good what do you need to do oxidize it into carboxylic acid salt that means you are going to write in this way and this will be o and then na no alpha hydrogen is there very good then you can do the canizaro reaction and then you can do this also uh, this will be ch2oh prime real See, this will be broken. Hydrogen will be added here. Hydrogen will be added here. So it will become CH2, and this is your watch. Is that clear, everyone? Can I change the slide? Yes, sir. Okay. So. Just wait a minute. Where I had done this. This is a question from PYQs. Can you see this then everyone? Yes, sir.
Yeah, MJ, any answer? KV, very good. You see, I'm going to explain. Very good, MJ. Now, see, it's very easy. See, this is your carboxylic acid and this is your OH alcohol. And here you can see alcohol changes into alcohol changes into what? Easter. That means this alcohol can be reacted with carboxylic acid, can be reacted with a sile halide, can be reacted with acid anhydride. Acid anhydride, as you can see. So when you are going to get R R O C O C H three, that means you are going to use. Acid anhydride. You are using acid anhydride. So the X will be, uh, wait a minute, the X will be acid anhydride. This. And when you are getting C double bond O O like this, that means you are using alcohol. You are using alcohol in the presence of H. You can see carboxylic acid is converted into ester. So this will be your answer. This is very basic question from class 10. In class 10, we learned that when alcohol react with carboxylic acid, we will get ester. In class 12, we learned that when alcohol react with carboxylic acid, then we get ester. Then when alcohol react with acyl halide, then we get ester. When alcohol react with acid anhydride, we get ester. When alcohol react with Acid anhydride, this type of compound will form and carb with the carboxylic acid base. So B will be the answer. Can you change the slide? Yes or no? Yes, sir. So this is your next question. The structure of product ABC. You need to tell me. When aldehyde react with NaCN in the presence of a water and dilute HCl is there as well as NaHSO3. See, I'm going to explain this. There is no answer till. So it's very easy. First of all, you are going to treat this NLDH. This is your aldehyde. And you are going to treat with NSCN in the presence of water and NHCO3 is there. NHSO3 and dilute HCl. So this will be directly converted into us, um, nitriles. What will happen? This will be like going this and there will be negative charge that will be attacking here. That means you will be getting the final product. You can see like this, this, wait a minute. Let me change the color. This was like this and carbon is there. Then there will be O negative and this CN attack. There is hydrogen and this CN directly attacked here. Are you getting my point? Yes or no? So this is the scenario and due to the presence of H plus, HCl is there. So 
H plus will go and make it like this. Alcohol and cyanide is there. Now, this will be your A. MJ, KV, Hamza, Adriel, three others, Priya, Rehan. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. This NHSO3 is also there. taking electron from carbon, so there will be positive charge. And since NACN is there, there is positive and there is negative charge, so it will attack like this. So this was the scenario. And due to the presence of H+, plus, due to the presence of H+, plus, it will attack here and you will be getting A as this. Let me show you. This is your CN and this is your OH. This is your A. Now, if you are going to do, use LiLH4, preparation of aldehyde, preparation of, sorry, uh, preparation of amine. This cyanide will be reduced to, since it is a strong oxidizing agent. You can see, this is your triply bonded N. What will happen, you know? This will be broken. Hydrogen will be added here. Hydrogen will be added here. This will be broken. Hydrogen will be added here. Hydrogen will be added here. And then it will form CH2NH2. The rest part will be as it is. Please hold on a minute. <laughs> Am I audible to everyone? Yes. Sorry. This was the first so the No. So CH2. The rest part will be as it is. Lithium aluminium hydride can reduce carboxylic acid, aldehyde, and ketone, but here it cannot reduce alcohol. So the rest part will be as it is. This will be converted into CH2 and H2. And you can see OH will be there as it is. And there was one more thing. One, two, three. One, two, three. So there was. A, so this will be your B. And you can see for you, if you are going to do HCl in the presence of water, what will happen? This HCl in the presence of water will be acting as oxidizing agent. And this will be oxidizes into carboxylic acid salt. So it will be carboxylic acid. The rest part will be as it is. So this this question is your previous year's question. So please do write it. It's a very good question. Let me know when you are done with this. Done, sir. Okay. This is the next question, and I think you can do this if you know the work of for this lithium aluminium hydrogen. It can be looked up, but it's very easy. MJ option B. That's good. Uh, MJ very good. No KV. Yeah. 
A cannot be because due to the presence of lithium aluminium hydride, you have to remember this. You know what will happen? This carboxylic acid will be converted. This carboxylic acid will be converted into alcohol. So it will be CH2OH like this. Okay. After this, you can see it cannot reduce alkene. Then go for the next one. This ketone will be converted into secondary alcohol. It will reduce it. And this is your nitro. Nitro group can be reduced to amine. So this will be the product which is B. B will be your answer. The This part you have done it correctly. Since you just passed class 12. So you have to be careful with this also. Since it is a PYQ. So the concept from other chapters can be involved. So be careful. Okay, KV? Yes, sir. Okay. So I will be sharing some more questions with you for homework.